That is the reason why suffering has a purpose in this world. Suffering is here, including even those forms of suffering that are entirely generated by the mind, that too is there to ultimately awaken you. So you have the suffering that is generated through this misuse of the mind, unconscious thinking, and you have suffering that comes through uh, encountering disaster in one form or another in your life. That's not to be denied. And in the course of this weekend we will explore how that also can become an opening into transcendence and it often is you will hear stories of people who have who were confronted with the most extreme forms of suffering and were able to go beyond it not by denying it but by transcending there's a huge difference between denial and transcendence we'll be looking at that so there's the the person who lives confronted with problems and with challenges and there is the potential of discovering and sometimes through encountering extreme forms of disaster but not all not 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 always not necessarily but there's the potential of discovering within yourself a dimension of depth that transcends who you are as a person. And in this moment, when the thinking mind stops for a moment and is replaced with an aware presence, then the transcendent dimension has emerged in you. And the invitation to you is right here and now to see if you can invite that dimension into your life. And it is almost as if you disappeared temporarily, what you before you called I. Because when you're not thinking and just are aware, then the person has temporarily subsided and an aware presence has arisen. And that's the discovery of the transcendent you or that, as I call it sometimes, the deep I. And for some people it comes, and this, there are many, many accounts throughout history, it comes through encountering extreme forms of suffering. Uh, I know that Steve Taylor will probably address it. He's done a lot of research and we have one speaker, I don't want to say too much, who uh, encountered awakening through very, very extreme form of suffering. And that is the potential for awakening that is hiding beyond the seemingly most dreadful thing that could happen to you. And it's all expressed symbolically, whether or not you relate to it as a, whether you're a Christian or you're not a Christian, you simply understand there's something there that the symbol of the cross points to. 
it doesn't this is something I don't think it's fully understood by most churches or norm, conventional Christians that what the symbol of the cross points to and a man who is dying on the cross to me that is the archetype of human and what is possible he, the the cross is a torture instrument it's a an expression of extreme suffering so you have this human being on a torture instrument now then something happens there is this human being dies this in a state of surrender not my will but thy will be done the human being dies in a state of surrender and the very torture instrument is a symbol for the divine the cross is a sacred symbol <laughs> but the cross is also a torture instrument the torture instrument the greatest obstacle to fulfillment the greatest obstacle to to life it seems is also potentially the opening into the transcendent dimension and i believe this to me is the the deep symbolism of the cross and uh, traditionally uh, the humans many humans who encountered an awakening who encountered it through extreme suffering and th that drove them to a point of surrender that drove them because they couldn't stand the pain anymore that drove them to the state of acceptance of what is and then suddenly the vertical dimension opened up that's also you could say the cross also points to the two dimensions the horizontal dimension and the vertical dimension so as awareness arises or presence then it begins to shine through the person the person no longer has no longer does no longer have this the density that completely obscures the awareness the consciousness the unconditioned consciousness underneath and it's often the case that the density is is destroyed by a suffering and that is the that is the reason why suffering has a purpose in this world suffering is here including even those forms of suffering that are entirely generated by the mind that too is there to ultimately awaken you so you suffer and the suffering all of you have you have been through suff different forms of suffering some very deep some just a succession of many many minor frustrations and things going wrong so you somehow let you lost confidence in uh, you lost belief that that this world would ultimately be able to satisfy you or make you happy you say that's not it and perhaps you became frustrated with yourself that's possible too you so the suffering is a potential awakener it has a purpose and it is there to destroy you ultimately or at least to crack to create a crack in the egoic shell and then something emerges through the crack some people in this lifetime continue to have an ego but it's no longer totally it's no longer a, 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 a impenetrable shell it had through suffering it has received cracks here and there there's a is it leonard cohen i think he has a song or poem there is a crack a crack in everything that's how the light gets in or gets out i would say <laughs>
So suffering destroys the false self, the identification, complete identification with your form identity.